And we should be live. My microphone should be working because I checked when I plugged it in. It said it's a vet. Should be plugged in, should be ready to go because when I plug it in, it tells me that um, it should be plugged in. Well, anyway. Welcome everyone to this edition of Universe Mode. We've got some pretty high impact matches and especially this one that you guys are seeing right in front of your faces. Yes, that's right ladies and gentlemen, the Cruiserweight Champion, the NXT Cruiserweight Championship is going to be is is on Raw. Now, the reason why I am doing this is because I actually want to try and treat the Cruiserweight Championship like it like it, it can float between all different brands. But, it's going to mean I'm going to have to change its name. I can't call it the NXT Cruiserweight Championship anymore. So, I decided to make the Cruiserweight Championship float between different brands. Or, they can choose to choose to face different superstars if they so desire. So, anyway... So our first match is going to be the Cruiserweight Championship. Dominic Mysterio stunned the world yesterday on NXT television, defeating Santos Escobar to win back the Cruiserweight Championship. He's come. He's he has he has made an open challenge, and Raw's Ricochet had accept accepted the challenge so for the first time ever the cruiserweight championship well for the first time since the title's reinstation will be defended on raw hello sean hello sean it's very hot here in australia right now it's going to be like 38 degrees i think but it's currently 33 degrees right now and good god it's really damn hot right now so So, yeah, this should be fun. This should be... This is going to be an epic way. This is going to be an epic way to start off. And what a way to kick off Universe Mode here on Monday Night Raw. With, with, with a Cruiserweight Invitational. The Cruiserweight Championship is a part of the NXT brand, but the champion Dominic decided to... He decided to issue an open challenge to anybody on Raw or SmackDown, and Ricochet gladly stu stepped up to the plate. Yeah, Cru Ricochet knows what it means to be the cruiserweight champion he was cruiserweight champion before in universe mode so he knows what it means to hold that title yeah ricochet Rick yeah, ricochet is a former cruiserweight champion here in universe mode so yes he does know what it means to hold a championship like the cruiserweight title and here comes Dominic Mysterio this young man defeated Santos Escobar to win back the cruiserweight championship this is the first time young Dominic this is young Dominic's debut on Raw this just means I might have to change its name if I'm going to have the title, the champion go between different brands. But this just might be a one-time only thing. And there he is, Dominic Mysterio, the Cruiserweight Champion, issuing a challenge outside of NXT. Hello, Kevin. So this should so this should be interesting. Yeah, this should be very interesting to see how this turns out. And introducing first the challenger. He is the one and only Ricochet.
And he is the champion, the Cruiserweight champion, Dominic Mysterio. What a way to open off. I mean, I don't mind the New Day. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, Sean, I know that because I watched Talking Smack. They announced it on Talking Smack. Speaking of Talking Smack, I'm not liking Kayla Braxton with um, Paul Heyman on there. Paul Heyman just constantly takes jabs at her for being a journalist. So, I liked her in Sami Zayn. I liked her with Sami Zayn. At least Sami Zayn was, Sami Zayn was hilarious. Paul Heyman, he's just... He, he, he's just straight up being an idiot. Oh, nice power bomb there by Dominic. And now Ricochet reverses. Ricochet. Oh, off the ropes. But Dominic was able to reverse. Dominic, Dominic had that well scouted. This is the first time Ricochet and Dominic Mysterio have ever locked eyes with each other in the ring. This is for the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. The Cruiserweight Champion has made a shocking appearance here on Raw and has wanted to take on Raw's best Cruiserweight. And that man is Ricochet. Shooting star press to win the title. Oh, man. Can you imagine if Ricochet was to win the title? Yeah, can you imagine Dominic Mysterio going through all that hard work to win the title back only to lose it? Yet another six days later after winning it, it would be quite embarrassing for young Dominic, that's for sure. Yeah, I saw what Paul Heyman uh, said about said to Apollo. I think this I think I think stars are aligning towards Apollo Cruz's heel turn. The stars are aligning to an Apollo heel turn. Especially after what he said. I feel like that's I feel like that's what where they're gonna go. They're gonna go with an Apollo heel turn. Do I wanna see Apollo as a heel? Yeah, I guess we'll see how he goes before I'm ju judgmental about it. He's been a babyface for way too long, so I feel like maybe a heel turn could definitely refresh in him. Oh, kick right to the face there by Ricochet. Ricochet with a shoulder tackle. Dominic Mysterio in trouble. Ricochet looking to become a two-time Cruiserweight Champion. Oh, man! Ricochet taking a dive. Ricochet wants to become a two-time Cruiserweight Champion. He has been the champion before in universe mode. Yeah, indeed he has. Three. There's no way Adam Pearce is wrestling at the Royal Rumble. There's no way he will. I, like, I know he's a former wrestler, but there's no way he will. Absolutely... No chance in hell he is going he is going he is going to fight Roman. He's gonna give his spot up. He's going to give his spot to either Takeo or Shinsuke. Downward spiral and a kick out by Dominic. Dominic showing some resiliency. Oh Ricochet going up. Oh, this is not good. And the Oh 630! The 6.30 splash gets blocked. Char Charlie and um, R-Truth. Yeah, but R-Truth's just more of an idiot sometimes. But R-Truth just likes being an idiot ma majority of the time. What is Dominic doing? He, he, he can't stall. Especially... Especially after against up against Ricochet. 
What is with all what is it with all these young young superstars making rookie mistakes? Oh, you can't make mis you can't stall. If you've got an opportunity, you got to take it. We saw that with Nessa on NXT. We saw her hit her finisher, but then she didn't go for the pin. Dominic Mysterio now. Oh. If this ends up costing him the Cruiserweight title, he'll have no one to blame but himself for not finishing Ricochet off when he had the chance. Oh, oh man. Just trying to weaken the one and only Ricochet. Oh, kick right to the legs. Oh, oh wait a minute. Ricochet back up. Oh, see? Oh, that's why you don't stall. Oh, my God. Dominic just tumbled out to the outside. See? That's what happens when you stall. That is, that is what happens when you take your time. Ricochet once again. Ricochet once again flies high. That's what happens when you stall and you and and you do not take advantage when you have the chance. Cause stuff like that will happen. Dominic Mysterio now in trouble. Ricochet going to fly! Oh takes it high! That could that could very well cost Dominic Mysterio the Cruiserweight Championship! Downward spiral on the concrete floor. But Dominic now. Still, show, still showing some guts in that ring. He might have realized he might have realized he might have realized his mistake. There's the cover. Oh. And Ricochet. Don Ricochet now is getting back up. Dominic Mysterio, sunset flip powerbomb. This could be it. This could be his chance. Dominic's got to take it. He's got to take it. Come on. Come on, Dominic. Finish him. What are you doing? Why are you stalling? What is Dominic doing? What in the world is Dominic doing? What is this fool doing? Oh my god! What is this fool doing? Is is this man an idiot? Does he want to lose the title? It's like Dominic doesn't know what to do without his father out here. Normally Rey Mysterio is out, out here during his matches to help him guide to, to really be his guide, but normally Rey's out here to help him guide him, but He's got no Ray out here. Yeah, Ray's been. Yeah, yeah. Ray got. Ray, Ray had had a situation happen to him. He got assaulted and mugged by somebody a couple of weeks ago on NXT, and he and he's been taken out of action. Well, just, well, he doesn't wrestle anyway, but he got taken out, and we haven't seen him in 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 in, 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 in quite a while. So, so it's like it's like Dominic doesn't know what to do without his, without his father's influence. Oh, nice, nice, nice reversal. What is Dom gonna do here? Oh, nice, nice maneuver by by Dominic. This is Dominic's opportunity. He can't stall anymore. He's got to he's got to finish the job. Oh, here it comes. 619! He hits the 619! Oh, and the diving frog splash! The diving frog splash to Ricochet! Nice move! And Dominic finally puts away Ricochet! Night, night, nice! What a nice finishing maneuver!
Why right now Tamina versus Sasha? They're not going to do Tamina versus Sasha. They're going to do Carmella. Hello. Myra, if that's how you say your name. Dominic Mysterio, by the skin of his teeth, was able to retain the Cruiserweight Championship. Yeah, I have to say, he won by the skin of his teeth. We can all agree he won by the skin of his teeth. He made a lot of mistakes. He made a lot of hesitations. But I think this but I think he Dominic Mysterio has got to try and win and try and feel more confident without his father at ringside. Yeah, his father got taken out. So he's got to at least Oh, really? I'm the only I'm the only person that actually pronounced your name right? Oh, really? Oh, that's a surprise. I just guessed. I just I just guessed that that's how you say your name, Myra. Well, here we go. It's time for the rematch between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. Last week on Monday Night Raw, these two had another classic with each other. And in the ending, saw Charlotte Flair perform a Spanish fly, pinning Sasha Banks. But Sasha Banks believed she kicked out at three. She kicked out before the three count. So... The only thing, the only fair thing to do was to have these two go at it again to determine to determine their second match. Oh, Charlotte Flair coming out here robeless. Yeah, she's coming out here robeless this week. Wow. Got some new merchandise. She got to do it with Flair. Her old NXT t-shirt. A robeless Charlotte Flair is unusual. Well, Andrade's not back yet. Give it time, he's not back yet. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully we can get crowds back soon. And ladies and gentlemen, it's boss time! Charlotte Flair is busy holding the tag team title. But hey, only time, but hey, think, but hey, it will, it will happen soon, maybe. We'll see. She is the boss, the standard, the blueprint, the draw. The conversation, she is everything. She brings the ratings. Sasha Banks has vowed to win the Royal Rumble match. Oh yeah, she has made a she's made the vow that she will win the Universe Mode Season 4 Draft Universe Mode Royal Rumble. She said she'll win the draft. She's one of the favorites to win. For some reason, I see them putting her on Raw to probably have her with a match with Charlotte. But if I, but if it was up to me, I would want her on SmackDown. Yeah, I think she's most likely going to go to Raw just for Charlotte. But I really want to see Rhea on SmackDown because I feel like her versus Sasha and her versus Bailey would be great matches. Or Sasha Banks brings Charlotte Flair down. So, so this is the rematch from last week's uh, controversial ending from last week. I've been hearing some people saying that um, 
Damien Priest may end up on Raw because of like there was this article that came out that um that they were gonna make Damien Priest um Kevin Owens is like best friend and he was gonna team up against them he was he was gonna team up with like Damien and Kevin were gonna team up against Roman and uh, Jay Kevin uh, Kevin Owens said that it doesn't make sense for him to have a friend and Roman Reigns also stepped in and he also said the same thing so because of that some people believe that that because of of that situation Damien Priest might actually get called up and he'll instead of being on Smackdown he'll be on you know Raw instead crossbody by Charlotte how do you feel about Goldberg versus Drew it gives me anxiety yeah same yeah yeah, yeah same I, I, I don't like why like why are you gonna have to do Drew dirty like that like seriously like why do you have to do Drew dirty I know I complain. I know I complained about WWE doing Randy Orton dirty when he was WWE champion. But do you seriously have to freaking do Drew dirty by feeding him to Goldberg? And no, I would rather me. And, and no, I, and as much as I hate the Miz, I would rather him be champion than Goldberg. Anyone? I I I take the gobbly Googa as my WWE champion. Oh, 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 over Goldberg. Like, I'd literally take anybody as my WWE champion over Goldberg. Anybody but Goldberg as my WWE champion. Charlotte Flair with a nice reversal. Charlotte Flair and Sasha have amazing chemistry. Crossbody again by Flair. Looking to pin Sasha Banks once again. Well, Charlotte Flair believes that Sasha Banks only wanted a rematch with her because she wanted to come up with it with all the excuses in the world that why she lost fair and square. Charlotte believes that there was nothing evidential in that videotape that Sasha kicked out. She just thinks Sasha is just making excuses because the best of the best got beaten got beaten oh look out bank statement oh Sasha's locked in the bank statement on Charlotte is Charlotte Flair gonna tap out Sasha Banks trying to tr Sasha Banks trying to, to put, put, put 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 the queen away oh, oh oh but Charlotte reverses spear breaks out of it nails the spear that could be it no it's not it At least, at least it's, at least it's not it yet. Oh, what a vicious clothesline. And now, Char and now Charlotte. Oh, hits that hammerlock DDT. Shades of her husband, Andrade. Oh, and Sasha kicks out. Sasha showing a lot of heart and resiliency. As she always does, yeah, that's the boss for you. That that's the, that's the boss. That's the mentality of the boss. So, ne all, all, always stays in the fight. And now here comes the boss. Yeah, it's boss time. Here she comes. Drop kick. Down goes Charlotte. Oh, and Charlotte manages to kick out. Oh boy, I love that. Oh boy, I oh boy, I would so love that. But it won't happen. They'll most likely do them in a tag title match instead. Charlotte Flair. Oh my god, Charlotte Flair has Sasha Banks on the outside. Oh my god. Natural selection! Good god, a natural selection on the concrete floor. Good god. Charlotte Flair doing the natural selection on the concrete. That's got to be it for that's got that's got to be it for Sasha. Oh, and Sasha kicks out again. Well, 
Well, Alexa Bliss didn't defend the Raw Women's title at the Royal Rumble. So, Charlotte, so, so guess what? Oscar's allowed to do the same thing. I remember when Alexa was champion, she didn't defend her title at the Rumble. So, so, so Oscar can do the same thing. Yep, she, yeah, she, yeah, she pretty much is. And oh man! Boy, oh boy, I can't wait for everyone to throw a hissy fit when Charlotte's the champion again. I always love it when people are mad when she's champion. You know I love... And... Oh, there's the Spanish fly! There's the Spanish fly. That's how this, that's how this match ended last time. And Sasha, this time for real, kicks out this time. Yeah, Sasha was able to kick out this time. She was able to kick out for real now. No controversial, not no controversial there. Uh oh, figure eight time. Oh, this is it. This is it for Sasha. Figure eight time. Figure eight time. The figure eight is locked in. This is the boss gonna tap to the queen. Alexa Bliss ain't ain't winning anything, buddy. She's she's gonna be stuck with the fiend, and she's gonna be treated like the fiend. Charlotte in trouble. Oh, and a kick out. Oh, Charlotte Flair getting back up to her feet. Oh, look out. Oh, bank statement time. Bank statement. Bank statement. Charlotte Flair. Oh, look out. Bank statement's applied. And Charlotte taps out. Charlotte taps out. Sasha wins. Sasha wins. Alexa Bliss sucks. <laughs> Go, Myra. I'm glad she's in, in her role now. I respect Charlotte's work in the ring. But I don't like her. But I just don't like her. She's not my cup of tea. Go, Mar go Myra! Go, Myra! Yeah, that's ex that. Go, Myra! Yeah, Alexa Bliss does suck. Yeah, go, Myra! <laughs> I've got a lot of respect for you now, Myra. Thank you. I never hear the end of it. I, ne I never hear the end of how great Alexa is. She's not all that great. I just love it. I just love. I just love it when people are mad. Charlotte's champion. It Can you see Charlotte put over some young talent like Peyton? Well, she kind of already did. Well, she kind of already did put over Peyton because of that tag team ending. Yeah, it was because of Ric Flair. Well, she kind of did put over Peyton already in that tag match. Sure, Ric Flair screwed Charlotte, but she kind of already did. Oh, here come, oh, here's Roman Reigns, our tribal chief. What does he have to say?
Why can't Mala say she she's the best? Because be, because she pinned Sasha, she's bre she's being a heel. Yeah, Alexa's strong points are promos. That's really all she's good at. That's why she's in her role with Bray because they because oh she's a talker. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, I heard he wanted to compete in the ring. Hey, don't forget, Sean, everyone blames Charlotte for everything. Exactly, it was awful. It doesn't, like, you can say, oh, Alexa tried her best, but it doesn't change the fact it was bad. <laughs> Oh, look out in Roman Reigns, cheap shotted the Universal Champion. Oh, here we go. Roman Reigns and Randy Orton. I go, uh, I'm, go back and watch the Alexa Bliss, Nia Jax, WrestleMania 34. I agree, it should have been Sasha versus Bailey. But you know what? Do you, do you want to know? Kev, Kev, Kevin. And I'm sorry, and, and I'm sorry, and I'm sorry, but I'm sorry to make fun of Sean all the time, but do you want to know what's the only good thing about Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax at WrestleMania? Alexa Bliss losing. That's the only good thing about it. <laughs> that was the only good thing. Seeing Alexa Bliss lose to Nia Jax was probably one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. Randy and Roman just, just beating the hell out of each other. These two are going to compete for the Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble. It'll be Roman and Orton for the title. Look, oh, gout! Roman Reigns now. Randy Orton taunting Roman to get inside this ring. Oh, Randy... Goes out after him and a vicious clothesline.
What was your favorite match from WrestleMania 33? Um, probably the women's four-way involving probably that women's probably the women's four-way. Well, that certain someone deserved it more than more than Alexa, and and it and it made and it made sense because it is her hometown. Alexa Bliss is from Columbus, Ohio. So stop trying to make so so stop trying to make stuff up. If she was from Orlando, Florida, they would have said she's from Orlando, Florida. But they, the more they say she's from Columbus, Ohio, she's a she's an Ohio girl. So get over it. That certain someone deserved that res that victory at WrestleMania thir thirty one. Oh God! He, oh God, Mara! He never shuts up about her. He just never shuts up about her. Every single, every single day I'm on Twitter, all he wants to do is talk about her. Well, anyway, coming up next, we got Jackson Riker. He's gonna go one on one with Carrion Cross. This Carrion Cross is gonna absolutely murder this guy. Riker wanted to come out here alone without Elias. Elias up. Jackson Riker. Riker, Riker is in over his head. Why oh why? Why, oh, why would you want to step in the ring with Carrion Cross? Oh, here he comes, Carrion Cross. Oh, Myra, he just do Myra, he just doesn't like it when I take jabs at her. He just doesn't like that. He doesn't like when I take little jabs at Alexa because oh, my favorites beat her. Like Naomi did at WrestleMania 33. I thought Naomi deserved that WrestleMania win, but then he'll go on for ages telling me how 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 Alexa deserved it more when Naomi clearly deserved it more considering she was the 11 year veteran at the time that's kind of why well Alexa I used to like her but I just don't like her anymore I used to like her I don't like her anymore and and, and I feel like and I, and I feel like that's really just annoyed him to a certain extent but all I'm saying is, is that sometimes that it just it just gets on my nerves. Harry just never shuts up about her. And the fact that you and the fact that you put Alexa higher than Sasha is is just laughable as well, Sean. Jackson Riker taking down Cross. What is Riker going to do here? Riker, look at Riker. Oh, Riker looking to put Cross away here. Oh, look at this. Is Jackson Riker about to provide an upset here? Torture rack. Oh, look at Riker go! Look at this!
Look at Riker go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Riker's, Riker's hanging in there. Oh, look out. Oh, my cross. Oh, cross is now back in it. While well, Jackson Riker had his five minutes of fame. He had his five minutes of fame. Look out. Oh, the slam. There it is. He had his five minutes. He had, he, he had his five minutes of fame. And now the choke slam by Cross. He had his five minutes of fame. And there's a choke slam by Cross. And Cross destroys Riker. Wow. Just like that. Just like that. It is over. Karrion Cross just destroys Jackson Riker. Riker had his few minutes of few few minutes of fame, but Cross just destroys him. Thank you for coming, Riker. It, it, it isn't, it isn't false. They started putting her in a tag team because of her injuries. Who cares? You like Alexa, we don't. Exactly. He doesn't like it when, he doesn't like it when people tell the truth about Alexa and he just all like, no, 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 that's not what, no, 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 that's not the case at all. Ronda injured Alexa. Ronda injured Alexa, gave her a concussion, and what a coincidence, they immediately put her in a tag team. They immediately put her in a tag team following her injuries. So you can't tell me, oh yeah, she wanted to work with Nikki. It may be true that she wanted to work with Nikki, but also WWE could have been like oh we don't want to risk you in the ring anymore so let's just put you in a tag team with somebody Vince could have just said hey we'll put you in a tag team with somebody because we don't want to run run risk of your injuries who do you want to work with and then she'll just say Nikki Cross okay done that's all they would have done that's it that 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 would have been the easy solution well anyway coming up next we've got women's tag team action It'll be Carmella and Dana Brooke of the Blonde Bombshells. They're going to be they're going to be taking on the Raw Women's Champion Naomi and Mandy Rose. Yeah, Mandy. Yeah, Mandy and Naomi. They are definitely not the best, the greatest friends in the world because of their past history. Who gives a shit about WWE backstage? That show was that show was that show was crap. Just hearing you just listening to you guys go back and forth is hilarious. And here comes Naomi. It's time to feel the glow. It's all feel the glow on Monday Night Raw in Universe Mode. Probably one of the best Raw Women's Champions in recent memory here in Universe Mode. Naomi is the third longest reigning champion in Universe Mode history. She's right behind Nikki Bella and Sasha Banks. With the, with the longest records, Naomi is actually catching up to the two longest records in Universe Mode. Nikki Bella, reign 140 days. Sasha's world record, which is the number one record, is 141. Naomi is catching up to that pretty quickly. 
throughout the days of her reign. She's Naomi has officially passed, has officially hit 100 days as Raw Women's Champion. And Carmella will be looking to put a stop to that at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, Carmella will face Naomi for the title at the Royal Rumble. And here comes a woman that Naomi has no love lost for. <laughs> you sound like you sound you sound like J Myra now sounds like JD because that's exactly what he called it. Yeah, it's yeah. Moment of bliss is when you want to go and t and take your piss break. When moment of bliss is on, that's your piss break. Oh, what's the matter? I thought you I thought you res Uh no, I don't really watch him. I used to, but not anymore. I used to watch him, but not anymore. I lost a lot of respect for him over the years. I know he always tries to be funny and entertaining, but... He blocked me on Twitter. All because I asked him a question. So... So yeah, I'm not really his biggest fan anymore. I consider him a bit of an idiot sometimes. But you know what, Myra? You may be a fan of him, but you love my content, so I'll greatly so I greatly appreciate you really enjoying my content as well. So I'm willing to put that willing to put that aside because you love my content. Mandy and Naomi are man, 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 Mandy and and Naomi have no love, love, love lost for each other. Yeah, they do not like each other. They've made that oh very clear that they do not like each other. If there's one thing about JD I don't like is that he says that he wants WWE to push certain superstars and whenever they do he's all like oh who cares it's too late okay Sean I will say this, I only watched JD Smackdown review recently, yesterday, because I spoke about that on my previous stream, on that, my NXT stream. I will say this, he didn't say Smackdown was terrible. He didn't say Smackdown was bad, so I think he did like Smackdown this week, which is a bit of a shock. I know, that's a bit, I know, that's a bit of a shock. But he, but he said he was surprised that um that WWE isn't mad at Snoop Dogg being in AEW. He said he 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 sounded surprised when he found out WWE is not mad at him for being in AEW. And I'm like, well, of course it. Well, of course they're not mad. Why would they be mad? Like, yes, that's Sasha's cousin, but who gives a shit? And oh, Naomi went for the splash. Oh, Dana Brooke with a strike right to the face. Dana Brooke now, one of the most underrated females to ever step into the ring. In my opinion, Dana Brooke is a very talented female who has a lot of untapped potential. Oh, what a clothesline. The Raw Women's Champion on the back foot.
I know, right? Like, imagine Ric Flair, you know, appears on AEW. Ima imagine that. Imagine Ric Flair appears on AEW and Charlotte just loses her push. Every she just loses her physique. Everything about Charlotte Flair is gone, all because Ric Flair goes to AEW. She loses the gimmick. She loses the Flair name. She loses the music. She loses the titles. She becomes a jobber. All because Ric Flair had to be an entitled idiot to go to go to the to the to the rival company. Screw that Ric. Screw him. Seriously, who cares? Oh man, nice double team moves there by not, not, by Mandy. You gotta admit, man, you gotta admit, Mandy and Dan, Ma Mandy and uh, Naomi are doing pretty well here as a team, despite not liking each other. Well, they did say they were gonna put their issues with each other aside to take out the take out the blondes well that well that's what you're gonna have to do if you want to beat the blondes oh review oh, I love Mandy Rose I love Mandy she's one of my favorites I love Mandy Oh, look at that. Dana Brooke now looking to pin the champion. Nope. Not a fan of not a fan of Eva Marie. Didn't mind her at first until didn't mind her at first until I saw her ring ability. I was like, oh god. And oh Naomi went for a crossbody! Oh, but Dana Brooke caught her. Oh, look at that. The strength of Dana Brooke. That was impressive. There's the tag. Oh, not, oh, actually, there was no tag. So, what's Carmella doing? Carmella, what, what? What in the world is Carmella doing? And look at, oh, look at. Look at Naomi, look at this. Oh my god, what is What was that for? Naomi turned her attention to Carmella, her rival at the Royal Rumble. And now takes her take, took her out with the with the review. Submission move! The field of glow! The, the field of glow submission locked in on Brook. Oh, and Carmella. Wow. Carmella. And Carmella makes the save. How Dana Brook, how did she survive that long? Gotta give Dana Brook credit there. Oh, Carmella now Carmella tries to get a cheap shot in. Oh man! Oh my god, Naomi just take my god, Naomi takes out. As long as Eva comes back as a manager, I'm okay with her coming back. I'll say as long as she's a manager, I'll be happy that she I'll be happy I'll be happy. Oh man. Naomi now trying to, Naomi now try, trying to keep the number one contender at bay Carmella now would love to once again defeat Naomi now can you imagine the confidence level of Carmella if she for us for two weeks in a row defeats the champion oh man Carmella again And now Carmella brings Naomi down. Naomi is in a world of trouble. Oh, 
Oh man, what a man, what a rever what a reversal. Naomi now makes the tag. Naomi really needed a break. She now makes the tag to Mandy Rose. Oh wait a minute. Oh Mandy Rose has, has not taken a lot has not taken a lot of abuse. But Dana Brooke now. Dana Brooke and Mandy Rose, former best friends. Yeah, Dana Brooke. Yeah, Dana Brooke turned on Mandy. She turned her back on Mandy to be a part of this new stable. So these two former friends are going at it. These two former friends colliding. Dana Brooke blames blames everything on Mandy. Says that Mandy is the sole purpose of this new attitude change. Oh, what a reversal there by... What a reversal by Rose. And there's a kick. It, oh, man! Carmella! Look at Carmella! Oh, my God! Double team, but a double team. Look at that. The Blondes just continue to find a way to bring the odds back into their favor. Uh, oh! Oh, look at this. Look out! Oh, Naomi now! Dana Brooke needs to get back inside the ring. The referee now. Is that a count of nine? No way. No freaking way. And that's a count out. Wow. Count out win. A count out win. Naomi took out Brooke and got her counted out. Wow. What a smart strategy. Wow. That was incredible. Naomi with the review to Brooke to get her counted out. Mandy and Naomi win, but they're definitely not friends. I prefer the Usos to take the titles on the street profits at WrestleMania. Like, what the hell? What kind of name is the Dirty Dogs? Yeah, I agree. Like, the Dirty Dogs is probably by far one of the most bizarre names. It's very bizarre. Yeah, exactly. What kind of name is the Dirty Dogs? Exactly. Oh, sorry, the Dirty Dogs, because their T-shirt says D-A-W-G-S. Hello, my, uh, hello, Michael. Welcome to the stream, buddy. We got Rhea Ripley versus Ginny up next. Look at that, Michael. You're just in. Look at that, Michael. You're just in time. You're about to see another one of your favorites competing. Well, Sean, well, 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 Sean, Io Shirai has still hasn't slayed the boss. She she slayed the boss because she had help. It's not an excuse; it's a fact. Rhea Ripley gonna go one on one with Ginny. Ginny's gonna be making her Raw debut. Yeah, Ginny was brought over to Monday Night Raw. Oh, man! Due to the draft.
Oh, yes, he. Oh, yes, he does, Myra. Every time I say something, he gets so offended. I said that Paul. Ha I, I said I don't believe that Paul Heyman's a big fan of Murphy. And then he's all like, "Oh, but Murphy won the tag team titles. That means that means Paul Heyman likes him." Well, Paul Heyman's on SmackDown. Well, well, Paul Heyman's on SmackDown. Where's Murphy? Nowhere. He lost to Corbin. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what I. That's exactly what I said. Anyway, let's anyway let's end the arguing here. We're all let's let's all end let's all end the arguing. Let's all be friendly in the chat. Let's all enjoy this women's matchup involving Rhea Ripley and Ginny. And let's all be friendly and let's all be friendly and have and have a friendly conversation. We're not here to bicker. We're all here to be friendly with each other. Oh man, spear by Rhea, spear by Rhea. It's all your fault, Sean. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ginny now has the upper hand. Yeah, Ginny's a young star from the UK division. She's she's a young star from the UK division. She got called up to Monday Night Raw. Ginny is ready for an all new, all all new, all all, all new beginnings. Do you like Raya? Well, Myra, uh, well, 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 Myra, I'm Australian, so yeah, I'm gonna like everyone from Australia. Well, except for Nia Jax, of course, but um, but she's more Samoan than Australian, so she doesn't count. Oh, what a boot right to the face! I hope Bianca or Bailey win the Royal Rumble. Yep, Sa yep, same. Those are my exactly those are my exact same picks. Raya now building momentum. Oh, look out. Oh, Ginny is on the back foot here. Oh, by the way, I know I don't really watch a lot of NXT UK that match, but I really hope... But uh, I will I, I will say this. Ginny becoming the number one contender for Kaylee Ray's title in NXT UK. I really hope that means they're going to have her win. Because here's the thing. I really want Kaylee Ray. I like I love Kaylee Ray, but I really want her to drop that title because I really want her out of NXT UK. It's time for her to get the hell out of NXT UK. She's done everything she can there. It's time to move her on. It's time to move her on to NXT. Bring her up to NXT. I want to see her. I want to see Kaylee Ray versus Candice. Kaylee Ray versus Indy. Kaylee Ray versus Rhea. Kaylee Ray versus Tony. Yes, we've seen that before in NXT UK. But there, but there are so many women on NXT. Kaylee Ray. Kaylee Ray versus bloody Io Shirai. Even that, even that would be fantastic. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, yeah, I want Kaylee Ray out out of NXT UK, but I want her to go to NXT. It's not that I want her it's not like I want her to win the title. Oh, what a brutal knee right to the face. Ginny's down. Oh, but Ginny kicks out. I like Tony heel turn. Oh, I can't agree. Well, I, like Tony being a heel, she's way too likable. I would r rather her better as a face, but you know, I'm giving this a chance. I'm giving this heel turn a chance. 
The one thing I didn't like about Tony's heel turn is that they, they, they just said, oh, why did you turn heel? And she was all like, Ember took my spotlight. That's it. Ember took my spotlight. That's it. And I'm like, really? That really the best you could do for her heel turn? Couldn't you say, oh, couldn't they come up with something better? Ember's a great wrestler, but I'm not a big fan of her. She had, I'm not a big fan of Ember Moon. She's a she's a good talent in the ring, but I have some issues. She's got no character. She's got no personality whatsoever. She's got nothing going for her. We've got no reason to cheer for her because she doesn't because she doesn't have a character. So. And you know how people say they want to see Naomi in the her business? Well, Ember Moon would have been a better fit. Ember Moon would have been a better fit because, get because what does the bit what does the her business have? No characters and no personality. Bobby's got no character. Cedric's got no character. Shelton's got no character. Neither of them have character and personality. MVP is MVP is ca is carrying them. MVP is carrying them on their backs and Ember Moon being in the Hurt Business would have made a trillion more sense than people wanting Naomi in there when Naomi has a character she has a personality she's got something going for her we have a reason to cheer for Naomi that's really it so yeah I feel like Ember Moon would have been way better in there would have been a better choice in there but that's just my personal opinion. The writers ruined an Ember Moon. Well, yeah, on the main roster they did, but I still think it, I still think going back to NXT doesn't change anything about her. She still has no character. You you, you can't blame the writers for not give, you can't blame the writers on that. And oh, the discus clothesline, Ginny with the discus clothesline, shades of Brody Lee. Shades of Brody Lee off that one. What a clothesline. What a matchup this has been here between Rhea Ripley and Ginny. Yeah, this has been a fantastic matchup between two young stars of Monday Night Raw. The two young guns of Monday Night Raw. Oh, look out. Oh, Ripley going for the GTS. Oh, the GTS. Oh, and Ginny gets the shoulders up. Wow, Ginny kicked out of the GTS. Ginny showing a lot of heart in that ring. Man, Ripley, man, Ripley has just been all has just been focused. Ripley has just been focused. Yeah, Ripley is on top of her game here. She's really focused on winning. But now Ginny, Ginny now. This is Ginny's. Murphy will, Murphy will get eliminated by King Corbin. Guarantee it. Guaranteed Murphy will get eliminated by King Corbin. And, oh! Kick right to the... What a kick by Ginny. Oh, kick out again. Wow, Ripley survives again. Ginny now. Surpri Ginny now. What is Ginny going to do?
What is on Ginny's mind? What is Ginny going to do? Rhea Ripley is dazed and confused here. What is what is Ginny going to do? Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. Oh my god! Face Buster off the top rope! My god, the Face Buster off the top rope by Ginny! What a move! Ginny beats Rhea! What a move by Ginny! Wow, what a move! And Ginny gets the upset victory over Rhea. Wow. What a shock. What an upset. What an upset. And what a victory for Ginny. Wow. What a move. Now that is how now that's how you win a match, ladies and gentlemen. That was a thing of beauty. Congratulations to Ginny on that victory. Well, she definitely deserved that victory. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, here on Monday Night Raw, we got ourselves some mixed tag team action. After losing the women's tag team titles, Bree and Daniel Bryan are going to be in a mixed tag team matchup against Sarah Logan and Eric. <laughs> this should be a very interesting tag team match. Eric and Sarah Logan made the challenge to Bryan and Bree because they want to climb up the rankings on Monday Night Raw. So they said, out, so they want a respect. They want respect, and the best way to do that is to challenge the best. Brie Bella is botch mode. <laughs> I like Brie. Despite her botching, I like her. As well as Nikki. I love them both. Can be called yes mode. <laughs> Yes, mode. <laughs> and here comes Sarah Logan. Sarah Logan being split away from the riot squad from the from the draft, but Sarah Logan said she's ready for a new new page in her in her career. Her and her, her and her and Eric, are, are prepared for this big match. I'm so glad you guys can't hear it, but my but my niece and nephew are over, and they're bloody crying so damn loud. I'm so glad you can't hear it. It's a no it get it really gets on my nerves. And what makes this worse? It's like th it's like 34 degrees here in Australia. It's like 34 damn degrees and I, and I've got and I've got my fan on in here. It's so bloody hot today. And here comes Eric. The Viking Raider. Yeah, Eric And here, yeah, here comes Eric. Eric paying homage. Look at that. Eric paying homage to the late great Brody Lee with with his entrance. And here comes Bree Mode. The former women's tag team champion. Her and Nikki her and Nikki on NXT lost the tag team titles to Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell due to a, well, due to a fraudulent referee. Yeah, due to a fraudulent lef referee, clear Johnny Gargano paid that referee to, to, to hand Candice and Indy the victory on NXT. And uh, let's just say Nikki Bella and Brie Bella had a bit of a falling out. And Brie, you know, 
wants to focus on other things. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Things were not things were not looking good in the Bella camp after that night. How do you feel about CM Punk and AJ Lee? Oh, oh my God! Don't get me started on AJ Lee. I freaking love her. I adore her so much. She was my hero. She was my first hero. Before, but until Sasha Banks came along, AJ Lee was my hero. I've got an autograph signed by her on my wall in my room. I've got a photograph. I've got a photograph signed signed on my wall in my room. Because I met her in 2012. AJ Lee is just... She was just my girl. She was my girl. I loved her to death. I want to see her back in WWE. But it's never going to happen. Remember Big Daddy V? He was previously went by Viscera and Mabel. He was so bad and too aggressive in the ring. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I know who he is. I remember who he is. He was another one of those. He was another one of those big, big men Vince McMahon experiments. So here we go. It's time for some mixed tag team action. Oh, Sarah Logan with a brutal headbutt early. Pele, wow, what a move by Logan. And her hair is flying all over the place. Well, well, like, well, you know what? I guess, well, well it makes sense because that's what hair does. I loved AJ more as a babyface because she was so likable. She's so likable. How, like, why would anyone boo AJ? Yeah, she was a great. Yeah, yes, AJ was a great heel, but why would you boo her? Why would you boo AJ? She's one of the most li likable characters. She's one of the most likable people. What about Paige? Don't like her. Don't like her. Bo she's bo she was boring. She's boring. She was a boring ass wrestler, and she's caused a lot of and she's caused a lot of problems in WWE over the Twitch. She's caused issues over the Twitch thing. She is responsible. Even though people will disagree with me, she was responsible for Zelina Vega's release. Yeah, but was she bo was she booed throughout her entire Divas title run? Yes or no? What does John, John Cena has nothing to do with it. She wasn't booed throughout her entire Divas title run. So no, John Cena has nothing to do with it. Remember when Naomi turned heel and she screamed at Paige? Yeah. <laughs> Naomi beat it. Just seeing Paige just get her ass kicked was always just so satisfying to me. I just couldn't stand Paige. She was boring in the ring. She, she, she was just boring. I just didn't like her. She was just so damn boring. She, she had nothing good. There was nothing good about her. So Sarah, Sarah Logan with a roll up to Bree. Oh, and a kick out. I would rather watch the Bella Twins wrestle than watch Bloody Paige wrestle. Paige was not. Paige was the Young Bucks before the Young Bucks were even a thing. Well, I'm pretty sure they were a thing, but... Well, I'm pretty sure they were a thing, but you get my point. She started the Super Kick Party. She started the whole Super Kick Party. Oh, look at this! Du double Yes Kick combination! Oh, a double Yes Kick combination by Brian and Bree! That would have been that would have been an atrocity. 
Paige being the one to end Oscar's streak would have been an absolute atrocity. People say Charlotte breaking her streak was an atrocity. Well, you know what? I ex I I more rather Char I would more rather Charlotte beating it than breaking that streak instead of Paige. And Paige hates the four horsewomen. That's another thing. And that's another reason why I hate Paige. She hates the four horsewomen. She 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 threw a fit because Bailey and Sasha were winning all the titles. Remember last year she was winning all the titles. She was winning. Paige had a big sook that Bailey and Sasha were winning all the titles last year. That she was all like, uh, "Stop giving the titles to the horsewomen. You know, you got other women on your roster. Give Alexa Bliss a turn. Alexa Bliss deserves a title shot." Paige is a big freaking Alexa Bliss fan girl. She's a freaking Alexa Bliss fan girl. Uh, give it to, give it to, give it to Alexa. She deserves it more than Sasha and, and Bailey. Yada yada yada. You know, Paige is just a freaking. She's just a freaking bitch. Having a Where where's Paige now? Where's where's Paige now? Where's she now? Having a having a little having a cry on bloody Twitch all because WWE is bloody uh, uh, uh. They keep taking they're taking our Twitches away. They're taking our Twitches away. Who gives a shit? And so did Ember Moon. Ember Moon agreed with Paige. And Ember Moon agreed with Paige. And when I saw Ember and when I saw Ember Moon agree with Paige, I was like, oh well screw you, Ember. And that's when I lost and that and that's when I lost my respect for um, Ember Moon. When she agreed with Paige. Oh look out. Yes, kicks to Oh man. And more yes kick action, boom! Down goes Logan. More yes kick action. And Bree. Oh, locks in the yes lock on Logan. Oh, and she makes it to the rope. Oh, Logan was quick, was quick to think there. Quickly crawled to the rope. Daniel Bryan now. Oh, Bryan was looking for the yes, was looking for the yes lock on Eric. Eric now using his strength. Oh, plants! Brian. Sarah Logan still sleeping in the ring. Yeah, do you want to know why she hated ba Bailey and Sasha winning the tag team titles? Because it was Alexa! It was Alexa! It was Alexa they took it from! Oh, how dare they take it from Alexa! Alexa deserved those titles! She was making them relevant! Oh, I hate Bailey! I hate Sasha! They was making it about themselves! Oh, shh! Ah, oh, grow up! Friggin' Paige! Paige wishes she was as good as Bailey and Sasha Banks. And that and, and she wishes she was doubly as good as them. Sarah Logan is just laying just laying there. Brie Bella is just going to come over. Oh, oh, look at that. Logan was sleeping. <laughs> Sarah Logan was playing the sleeping game. Bree just went over there to pin her, and then Logan just leaps back up. <laughs> Sarah was playing possum the entire time. Sarah Logan was playing possum with Bree the entire time. Springboard moves up by Logan. Logan beat Bree. Wow, Logan pinned Bree. Sarah Logan pinned Bree. She played possum and she caught and she caught her. Wow! Sarah Logan caught Bree! Ca caught Bree! What a troll! What a trolley move by Sarah Logan to outsmart the veteran!
I don't mind Otis. I don't mind the blue collar working man. I don't mind him. He's not a good wrestler, but I don't mind him. We're going to be hearing from Carmella despite... Yeah, isn't that funny? Isn't that funny that Otis has gotten more screen time than Tucker? You would have thought them turning Tucker heel would have meant more screen time for Tucker. I find that funny how I fi find it funny how Otis has had more TV time than Tucker. You thought them turning him here would have led to something. But no, nope, it's just led to him being a bum. Which is no surprise. We're we gonna be hearing from Carmella. She and uh she and Dana Brooke lost to Mandy and uh, Naomi by count out. Maybe she's out here to have a sook. <laughs> you sound like Christian Miracle. The way Patrick said bum. Ding! It's like a sin counter. Oh, Carmella's calling out the champion. Why would they strip her? Oh, yeah, we're just going to strip you of the title because you're not defending it. 2000, 2000 and... How long... Remember when Alexa Bliss went... Didn't Alexa Bliss go... Didn't Alexa Bliss go majority of her t second run as Raw Women's Champion without defending her title at all until TLC in December? If I remember correctly, she didn't defend... If I remember correctly, when Alexa was champion, she rarely defended it in 2018. Or, what, or whatever year it was. Or whatever year it was when she was champion. She went on like a couple of months without even defending it. Oh but that oh, oh but it oh, oh oh but they should have taken the title from her. <laughs> but but yeah. But but yeah, but 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 no, they didn't take the title off Alexa then. But Oscar needs to have the title taken from her when Hang on. Sorry about that. So 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 sorry about that. Alexa had no competition. Oh, of course. So that, that so that means Ale that means Oscar has no competition. Stop being an Alexa Bliss defender. I freaking hate it when you do this, Sean. I hate it when you do this. Oh, strip the title from Oscar because she's not defending it. Oh, but no, but no, Alexa has no competition, that's why she, she, oh, Naomi just slapped Carmella, oh, but, 
Oh, oh, but no, Alexa is allowed to keep the title because she had no competition. Seriously. Stuff like that makes me angry, Sean. Alexa was a bad champion. <laughs> Alexa can go a couple of months without defending it. Oh, she had no competition. Oscar goes a couple of months without, without defending the title. Strip it from her. Strip it from her. God, you're so biased. God, you're so biased. I know you love Alexa, dude, but come on. Stop it. I know I say we all should be friendly and not argue, but seriously, stuff like that just... Mm. Why would they strip her? Why would they strip her? They didn't strip Alexa when she went five months without defending it. Seriously. And then when, and when Alexa wasn't defending it, it took until TLC they put her up against Mickey. And then she didn't defend it at the Royal Rumble. And then when Kurt Angle put her in the Elimination Chamber. And then Alexa Bliss started sucking. She was all like, oh, I should be... Why isn't Brock Lesnar? And then Alexa started comparing herself to Brock Lesnar. She's all like, oh, why... Oh, why is... She's all like, oh, why isn't Brock Lesnar defending his title in the Chamber? But I am, you know? She started having a whinge. Because she had to defend hers. Yes, Brock Lesnar's a part-time champion. And yes, I don't like Brock Lesnar as champion. But at that period, she had a damn whinge about it. But she had a whinge about it. You're an active competitor. Of course you're going to defend your title, Bliss. If you're a part-timer, then no. You, but then if you were like Brock Lesnar and you're a part-timer, then no, you wouldn't defend it all the time. Good God. Man, I'm spending more of my time... Man, I'm spending mo majority of my time freaking rant, 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 ranting in this stream than actually doing my job as a commentator. Than actually doing my job and entertaining everybody. Oh, yeah. Of course, you def of course you agreed with Alexa. When do you ever not agree with Alexa? Anyway, I'm not. A anyway, I'm. I'm. Uh, it's time for the phenomenal club. Yeah, the big. The go the boys are back together. The fact. The fact that Alexa compared herself to Brock is, amuses me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. The bo the band the boys are back together, but we'll but but we'll get more into that as we go along. Here come Otis and Chad Gable, the Alpha Academy. This is a huge opportunity for the Alpha Academy. Oh yeah, this is a big opportunity for them. They're gonna be facing off against the Raw Tag Team Champions, the Phenomenal Club of Finn Balor and AJ. Styles. STD. What the heck does that? What does that mean? What does that mean, Clark? And here come the phenomenal club. Things have just gotten phenomenal. It Oh my god! Wait a minute, what? Look at this! Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's Gallows! That's Anderson! What the hell? It's Gallows and Anderson with AJ Styles and Finn Balor! Oh my god! That's what The Rock called Chad Gable. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Look at that! 
The Good Brothers are with Styles and Bala. Are you kidding me? The Phenomenal Club has indeed become phenomenal. Yeah, he called Corbin that, not Gable. <laughs> oh my God. Gallows and Anderson are with Bala and Styles, the phenomenal club. <laughs> oh my God. I do not. Man, I feel bad for Otis and Chad right now. <laughs> And I feel really bad for Otis and uh, and Chad Gable. They came out here hoping for a for it. That is that is incredible. Otis and Chad came out here hoping for an opportunity at, at, at the future chance at the tag team titles, but they just saw the reunion of one of the most powerful factions in the world. His, uh, yeah, I like his uh, new finisher. I'm not saying I hate the coup de gras, but you know, I thought it, I thought it was good. Ah, da, 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 back off, gallows. Back, back off, gallows. You don't need to come near Otis. Styles now. My God, I, my God, the, ba the my God, the club is back. We know Gallows and Anderson were drafted to Monday Night Raw, but I, I did not expect this. Oh my God, the, the club is back together, and it is and it is a dangerous time. Who does who doesn't hate Baron Corbin? Oh wait, yeah, I do know someone that doesn't hate him. And now the double team. Oh man, Otis just got sent flying big time. Oh, and Finn, jeez, Finn Balor, man. Oh man. Man and man, the Bala Club is back. Man, uh, man, 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 the crowd is just in disbelief. That that the crowd is just in as as much of a shock as I am that we have just seen the rebirth of, of, of the Bullet Club. Oh yeah, Corbin's got some nice moves. Like, like, like he's got some nice moves. Like the deep six and the end of days. He's got some nice moves. That that I can definitely agree with. I can definitely agree. He's got some nice moves. Corbin's definitely got some, got a not 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 nice move set. Man, Styles and Balor. You know they've been dom they 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 have been they were dominant before as the tag team champions. But can you imagine what power they could bring? Now that they've got Gallows and Anderson by their side. Oh my god. They, they, they're going to be the most feared stable on Monday Night Raw. The phenomenal club just gained a bullet in their club. Ha ha ha. You get my joke there? Oh, the big kick. Chad Gable now. Oh, Chad Gable in a world of trouble. Finn... Finn and AJ are just unstoppable. My God, they they are they are unstoppable right now. They are looking absolutely destruct. They're in destructive mode. Chad Gable and Otis have no idea what has just just hit them. They came out here hoping for a huge opportunity, but I don't think they expected this.
And oh, the destructive kick. Man, poor Chad and Otis Seaton. Oh, look at this. Chad now trying to... Chad, at least Chad is trying to mount, to mount some offense here. Chad is trying to do something. He's trying to mount some offense. I guess the reason why they didn't have him as the demon is because they knew he wasn't winning. That can be my only guess. My only guess is, is that they that, that he wasn't winning. Oh man, reversal. And here comes oh here comes Otis. Here comes the blue collar blue collar working man Otis. Coming in now, coming Otis now coming in, looking to hopefully. I think she'll. De I think she's definitely returning at the Royal Rumble. But if she doesn't, then maybe she returns on the Royal after Rumble. But the Royal Rumble is the perfect time to bring her back. I mean, it's not like it's going to change anything about how you feel about her. That's for sure, Sean. You, you, you have a grudge against her. But you've got a grudge against Naomi because she beat your girl Alexa at WrestleMania. <laughs> I've got a grudge against her because she beat my beautiful Bliss at WrestleMania. Coup de gras. Oh, and a kick out. And Styles, my God, Styles just 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 takes out Chad. Oh my God, and Styles now. Oh, look at this, lifting up Otis. My God, the straight the Styles. Styles clash to Otis. Oh my God, he kicked out. Man, I gotta give Otis some. I gotta give. I gotta give Otis credit for surviving the. Oh, the coup de gras, and the Styles clash. Yeah, like if there's one thing we've we've learned about Otis. If there's one thing we've learned about Otis since joining the Alpha Academy, that he's grown a lot of heart. He's got a lot of heart and resiliency. That's what we have learned about him since he joined the Academy. <laughs> what is... What is Otis going to do? Does Can Otis... Can, can can Otis pull out a miracle here? What's Otis going to do? Otis going up to the top rope. What's he going to do here? Oh, my God. Sits right on top of AJ Styles with the bonsai drop. Otis with the bonsai drop to Styles and a kick out. Wow. Unhand him there, uh, Carl Anderson. 
Oh, look at look at Carl Anderson. Look at Carl Anderson getting in Otis's face. Oh man, and Styles takes advantage. Otis paying homage to Yokozuna, yep. And Rikishi, Rikishi did that too. The assist. Oh man, the assist. From Carl Anderson on the outside. Gives Styles the advantage over Otis. And now Otis is in trouble. The Styles clash. That's it. Good night, blue collar man. Good night. Phenomenal win for the phenomenal club. A valiant effort by Otis and Chad. But in the end, this victory belonged to the phenomenal club. Do you have a favorite tag team? The Usos. And I get, and the Street Profits. Their Street Profits are good. I liked I like Look, Rude and Ziggler are a great team, but I'm just I'm just sick of them. I'm just sick of them being a team. I want Robert Rude to be a singles competitor. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Sasha and Bailey are a great team as well. Oscar and Charlotte are another great tag team for the women. So it's time for our main event. And the main event is Randy Orton facing off against Big E of the Hurt Business. Big E stepped up to the Universal Champion. Oh my god, I freaking love Sami Zayn. He's amazing as a heel. I freaking love him. He, 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 he's such a he's a great heel. I freaking love him. Ama amazing heel. And here comes the Universal Champion, Randy Orton. Yeah, the, yeah Big E's Hurt Business made the challenge to him through social media. And Randy accepted. Despite that, Randy Orton's going to be dealing with the Tribal Chief. At WrestleMania, oh yeah, he's got, oh yeah, he's got the Tribal Chief on his mind. Roman Reigns and Randy Orton are going to do battle at the Royal Rumble for the Universal Championship, but Randy Orton now has to turn his attention to the big, to the, to the brand new CEO of the Hurt Business, Big E. Yep, Bobby Lashley was exiled out of the Hurt Business. He's now over on SmackDown. Especially with now that CFO soundtracks aren't allowed. The crazy thing is, remember when they said they changed um, certain theme songs because of CFO? Sami Zayn's theme is CFO. I'm surprised they haven't changed. But overall, I don't think them changing theme songs really matters. Nor it should matter, to be honest. And here come the Hurt Business. Ember Moon also a Ember Moon also along with the Hurt Business. Yep, Apollo Cruz, Titus O'Neil, and and the new CEO Big E. For some it does. For some it does matter. 
Have to keep the top stars themes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. By the way, I watched I'm um, Talking Smack. I wa I watched um I I, wa I watched Talking Smack. I think we're going to get a Apollo's heel turn. I think we're going to get an Apollo Crews heel turn, especially after what Paul Heyman said to him. Considering what Paul Heyman said to him, I feel like we're going to get a heel turn eventually from Apollo Crews. Now, I don't know how well he will do as a heel, but if they're willing to give him that chance, I think that could be... And, and that's another thing. Like, they changed his theme to, to, to it going, Apollo! Like, that theme isn't heel material. That music ain't heel material. Imagine him as a heel and he comes out to a theme song that goes, Apollo! You told me see you living my life on top. Yeah. Yeah, heel Apollo coming out to that. That means they're going to have to change his music again if they're going to turn him heel. Yeah, I agree. I definitely think Big E needs to needs, needs to become a bit more aggressive. So, I really, I really do think he will become more aggressive, especially after what Apollo did. Into, into the cover, and a kick out. This is probably the most interaction. I, th I feel like this is probably the most interactive I've ever. This is probably the most active chat I've ever had in, in my history of ever live streaming. 206 comments. This is probably the most active chat I've, e I've ever had. <laughs> yes, thank you, Michael. <laughs> yeah, yes, thank you, Michael, for just adding adding more ch <laughs> adding more comments in. Thank thank Big E with that Uranagi. Can you imagine Big E? Can you imagine? Can you imagine the confidence of Big E if he was able to knock off the Universal Champion? What in the world? What the? Look at this! The entire Hurt Business are surrounding on. Oh my God! The entire Hurt Business. Look at this! The entire Hurt Business. Protecting Big E! Randy Orton now slipping through them. Oh man! The Hurt Business using their numbers. I don't think Seth will be the Messiah if he returns as a face. If he returns as a baby face, I don't think he'll be a Messiah. I'm just going to take a guess. If he returns as a face, he won't be he won't be the Messiah anymore. But I could be wrong. And now Big e, and now Big E's in trouble and and now Randy Orton with that draping DDT. Looking to pin Big E. Can he do it? And Big E gets the shoulders up. They just turned Nakamura babyface. So I want to see Nakamura eventually challenge for the for the title. Oh my god, what a clothesline. Shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, what a vicious clothesline by Big E. Big E now is just absolutely dominant right now. Randy Orton now, Randy Orton brings it inside the ring. Big E now, uh oh, big ending time. Big ending, the big ending to Randy. Big E has pinned the Universal Champion. Wow, Big E, Big E, Big E has just pinned the World Champion. Wow. Big E has just beaten the Universal Champion. Wow. <laughs> the, and the Hurt Business celebrate on the outside. Big E has just pinned the Universal Champion. The numbers game caught up. Big E, what a victory. And that is all I've got for you guys in this stream of Universe Mode. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys did enjoy your time. And I will see you all next time.